Welcome to New Adventure. This is going to be a little smaller, a little shorter. This is a holiday getaway in Chicago. It's a few days before Christmas and we are going to be checking out some sites in the city, checking out some restaurants. And uh, we're starting it all off by checking into the Gwen Hotel. This is part of the Marriott chain. Um, it is um, a block off of Michigan Avenue or the Mag Mile here in Chicago and um, never stayed here before so this will be interesting a new experience checking out more of the different brands and hotels that part of the Marriott chain again this is the Gwen um, it's a luxury edition hotel and we're excited all right we are in room 921 as soon as you walk in there's a full-length mirror and then there is a bathroom on the right large sink there is the toilet area simple and then there is a large soaking tub that is huge look at that love the tile there and then to the left is the glass shower. See that with some of the lotions and soaps. Nice size. And there's a bath robe behind the door. Now we head into the room. We come across some closets. And in the closets, iron, ironing board, luggage rack, safe and some storage areas and then you've got some accessories here laundry bags Ooh, the light goes up when you close the door and then you will keep on going further and here's the room this is a city view large television large storage cabinet tray area there's our waters let's see what's in here there's a fridge. And then turning back around, large king size bed. What is that? It's like a gazelle or something in the wallpaper in the background. Nice gold accents, a little sitting area with lights, a workstation, a little white chair. And then it's a nice muted color, color palette here. And let's show you the views. There you go, better. So here's the views outside. If you look up there, there is the John Hancock at the very top in the center with the red and green for the holidays. So um, Michigan Avenue has to be, yeah, that's Michigan Avenue there to our right. We're in the lobby of the Gwen. And there's a giant tree. We're going to ask them how to get to the shops. Holiday photo. David's exploring. Just more of the lobby. We're waiting for David. He's exploring another part of the hotel. Are you hungry? You're okay? All right. We got a little time to eat, not till seven something. So right in the lobby, there's a connection to the shops at Northbridge. We're gonna take this entrance and head downstairs to see the shops before we head out to dinner. And so there's an indoor connection to the mall. So there is, we were right up there at the hotel area. And now this is level four. And we are right next to the Nordstrom's. See so here the Nordstrom's. We are checking out the maps. 
Should we just eat at Panda Express? Yeah, why not? <laughs> There's the elevators to the Gwen. It's connecting to the hotel. The first thing David sees is a chocolate shop. He's headed inside to check it out. This is called Royce. Royce chocolate. I've never heard of this. Outside of the shops, we are right on Michigan Avenue. We're just checking out the lights. Pop-up holiday store. We're checking it out. It's, I think it's called Santa's Workshop. Very holiday, Santa. Look at all the ornaments. We have found our way to Italy and we're showing my folks around. So David found some samples, some lemoncello and some Pandoro cake. It's just gonna have that sort of natural like lemon vanilla dry. Panettone. So here's a view of Italy. This is the upper level. A lot of wines, a lot of samples everywhere. What are they looking at? What are they looking at? Oh, it's chocolate. No, you don't like chocolate, isn't it? This is pistachio and chocolate. Oh, oh, that actually looks good. <laughs> There's just so many cheeses to choose from. How do you know what to get? It all looks so good. I don't think it's a good idea to be here when you're hungry and you know you have dinner reservations in an hour. But uh, it's good to see. Now we are wandering over to the butcher shop section. You can get that. And here are the fresh pastas. We've made our way back down to the first floor, ground level, and we are in the dangerous section of pastries and gelato. This cupola looks really good with a gold dusting on it. 890. Yeah. A caramel mousse, milk chocolate, Bavarian chocolate glaze. Oh. Looks so, so good. Actually, this Sicio Chantilly Cream Puff looks good too. Only eight ninety for it. All right, so we made our way over to Girl and the Goat. This is our dinner location for tonight. It's over in the West Loop, or is it Fulton District? I'm not sure exactly the name. We ate it earlier than our reservation, which is nice. And we are checking out the menu. Here's the menu. Take a look or go online. They suggested we get like eight dishes, like two per person, because they're smaller size. So I think we've got seven, so we'll see. Behind us. I noticed a cute little goat on here, on the napkin, it's so cute. And just like that, the sweet potato bread came out. Got it. 
We finished off the sweet breads and the chickpeas came out. Chickpea fritters. My dad's ready to go already. He's telling me to hurry up. Is the uh, pork belly. I forgot everything else. But all I know is this is the pork belly. And now the green beans have come out. But I have to tell you, the um, pork belly was very, very, very good. And now the goat belly confit has arrived. What? <laughs> what is this? The goat belly. Um, this is what Pa ordered. This is his pick. Pa, you pick this. All right, go ahead. So Ma's pick has arrived, the Branzino. All right, Ma, go ahead. Pa, what do you think of the goat? <laughs> so this is the last dish we ordered. This is the pig face. It's somewhere underneath there. Now they told us we need to smash it all up and mix it together. So David, you're gonna do the honors? No, I'm looking. What's under it? A pig face. Is that like a little hand on the pig face? I don't know. Mash it up. What, just, just do it, yeah. The goat was very good, and so is the Branzino. It's been very flavorful. So we're just mixing it all up together. Thank you. Thank you. For David's birthday. What? He blew it already. Why? What's the big deal? You were done videoing, were you? So this is um, a goat cheese gelato. I thought you already video taped This is the coconut creme. This is the coconut creme. And this is the sticky toffee pudding as our dessert. Did you say what kind of ice cream you said? Yeah, coconut gelato. He said goat cheese. Oh, goat cheese gelato, I forgot. Goat cheese gelato. nasty coconut. Goat cheese, here we go. We are out on the terrace on the fifth floor. We had 715 reservations at Girl and the Goat. Um, but we got there about 645 and they sat us right down right away. So that was very nice. Um, we, we enjoyed the experience. The Girl and the Goat, the food, I mean, was wonderful. We ordered seven dishes. I don't know if you can hear or anything because it's so loud in that hotel. In that hotel, it's so loud in that restaurant. But the food was wonderful. Um, we ordered seven dishes. Everything came out like kind of one at a time. The entrees came out kind of together towards the end. Um, so we were kind of like having like different um, courses, right? Um, like a sampling menu, and we we tried all a whole bunch of stuff. The food was really flavorful. I mean, a lot of Asian inspired stuff in terms of what we were tasting, which was wonderful. So um, highly recommend Girl and the Goat over in Fulton Market District, I believe. And uh, definitely check it out. It's gonna be loud, so um, just keep that in mind. But casual, uh, no need to like get all gussied up or whatever like that, just casual and um, a really great experience. So definitely check it out. Um, after that, we took a lift back to the hotel, and we uh, we have vouchers um, for each room. Uh, my mom and dad have another room, and we have vouchers for like fifteen dollars um, per room per day. So um, David and I just went down to the bar area and we ordered some desserts and applied our vouchers, and we brought them back up. Gave the food to my mom and dad. They got a flan. We got a brownie. I don't know if we're gonna eat it tonight or if we're gonna save it in the fridge for tomorrow, but um, don't let it go to waste. So, um, 
it was a good first day here um, in the city. Um, you know, um, the one thing I'll say is that, you know, the Nordstrom, um, Northbridge, the shops at Northbridge or whatever at Nordstrom's um, that's connected to the hotel, there's not many shops there. It's just like all malls are just like dying. And it's just kind of a sad statement. Um, a lot of empty spaces and all that stuff on the different floors. Um, so not much really to see there. We got to check out the lights of Michigan Avenue. We had a chance to go around the corner and go to Italy and show my mom and dad the, the place and check out the different foods. And of course, the thing is, don't go to Italy before you go to a restaurant because you're going to be really hungry and we were very hungry. But um, that is our first day here in Chicago for the holidays. Tomorrow is going to be a jam-packed day, a lot to do. So I will save that for the next video if that's continuing on this one or if it's a separate one. But with that said, thanks so much for watching and uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.